There's the babies. You didn't know that birds had babies? Yeah, I, I did. Faded. But I didn't know they had babies right now. Oh yeah, it's the time. I like genuinely hate geese. Here in Edmonton, because that's where I am. Anyway, we're at Horlock Park. I found uh, that guy. How's it going? That guy that's named Rick, and uh, that other guy that's named Axel. <laughs> <laughs> These two guys are like urban photographers, and very good ones. But I've said, hey, it's time to learn some landscape photography because that's my deal. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some time lapses. I'm gonna do some long exposures and uh, hopefully get enough footage for the vlog to make it actually interesting. There's a bunch of baby geeses. And so yeah, geese are disgusting creatures. I don't know why they're called the Canada geese because it literally has nothing to do with Canada. They're disgusting and gross. There's all the poop and they attack planes. Hey, ghosts! All right. <laughs> Are we salty today? A little bit. The reason being is, why can't we say what we mean to say anymore? Now, hear me out and don't turn this off right away because I wanna to get to something that's deeper than this initial thing I'm gonna say. What if I were to tell you that I supported Donald Trump? Whoa, there's a hot button. I'm not saying I do or don't. In fact, I don't really care. I'm Canadian. But here's the thing. What happened to you when I said that? See, what I'm seeing right now in the world is that we can't say certain things. And now, there's certain things like hatred towards other people or people groups. You shouldn't say those things. But what does it mean when a certain group of people aren't allowed to say what they support? And this group of people, let's even forget the whole presidential thing, but there's certain topics that you can't even talk about publicly. My big thing right now is, is that because we can't talk about these things publicly, nothing's ever going to change. And we want things to change, do we not? Burying something doesn't change it. It just hides it for a later date. Now, anyone that's seen some sort of civil rights movement move forward and actually be successful, it had to come to the surface. It might have laid low for a long time because a certain group of people pushed it down, but eventually it rose up and actually caused change. I hope you understand what you're doing by bashing people on social media that stand up for something they believe in. Whether you think it's right or wrong, the fact that you're trying to bury it and suppress it isn't what you're actually going for. You're talking about change. Yet anyone that has a differing opinion is anti-change? And the funny thing is, one side used to accuse the other side of suppression, control, and has used that tactic on the very people that they said were guilty of it in the first place. We're walking down a dangerous road, people. All right, now we've come down to White Ave, which is uh, the whitest of abs in Edmonton, Alberta's. And still with these guys. We're gonna wander around, see what we can find. There's motorbikes. They didn't care, I was recording. So Rick here is starting is starting to vlog as well. Potentially. That's what we'll he, see, how we'll see what happens. But anyway, he interviewed me, so now we decided to wander around some more. Hey look, the patio is open. This is the um, this is the new Strathcona Farmers Market, uh, not to be confused with the old one. Right, Axel? Yeah, don't get it confused, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it, crushing it. Stop! <laughs> At El Cortez, and because because Axel's from Mexico, we had to get guacamole and uh, also tequila. But, yeah. So, 
like I was saying in the first segment, I see a big problem happening. And I know I've been on social media. You see someone comment and they get crucified for their comment. And believe me, their comment isn't like a racist thing. It's just an idea that they've had that disagrees with someone else's idea. I find it crazy that we would instantly disqualify someone just because they said that. And I understand, like, you think all these things are tied to a certain political standpoint, but you can't lump everybody in. You just can't do it. As much as you think that it's all lumped together, that's like saying every Christian's from the 1920s or every Muslim is a terrorist. You can't say those things. And if you are saying those things, I'm saying you're guilty of something much greater. I'm saying you're guilty of a larger problem. The larger problem being the very thing you want to be tolerant of and you say you're a tolerant liberally minded person you're not because you're not allowing other people to speak freely the thing that actually makes results that actually comes up with solutions for problems is discussion and if we're shutting that down just because someone voted a certain way or leans on a certain side of the fence i don't see how that's any different from saying well that person doesn't have a voice because their skin color is this way we have a problem right okay so john alex me just crushed a giant donaire yeah it was huge it was huge donaire and now we're going to the edmonton beer fest which always promises to be an adequate time <laughs> alberta alberta all right first dale cheers. cheers alex drank his already Currently at a beer seminar uh, for a distillery here here in Edmonton. So educational. Distillery inbound and in the restaurant there, unbelievable. It's a great, uh, great, great experience. Fun time down here at the YEG Beer Fest. This is John, and uh, we're about to leave and go to uh, get a nice dinner. There's a dance party going on. Well, John, well, the night is over. It's not over. Well, it's this just, part is. It's just begun. All right, we went to um, a steak place because that's just what you do. And John's in the washroom. But there's his food. Listen to me, at the end of the day, we have to understand something. That if we start to squash any opposition voice, if we try to like mush it down into the ground so that we don't hear it, it's like we're literally running around with our fingers in our ears screaming, no, 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 I can't hear you, I can't hear you. What was the very thing that pissed you off when your opinion was the minority, when your opinion wasn't as popular? You hated it when people squashed you down and you felt oppressed and dragged through the mud and you felt like people were attacking you and maybe they were. What I'm saying is if you're now in a position of power and you're saying the same things that were done to you, now you're repeating it to someone else? Why? It's just repeating the cycle and it's not going to fix a thing. It's not going to change anything. You want to see change? You want to see certain political leaders win? Well, let me tell you this. You need to let everybody freely speak. Trying to squash something and hide something and bury something because you think that's what's going to make you win, it's going to make you lose almost every single time. And if you do win when you've squashed that thing, watch out because it's going to turn around and bite you one day. People, I want things to get better, I truly do. But just repeating the cycle of what we've already done for hundreds of years isn't going to be what changes it. What needs to change is how I respond to things I don't like. If I don't like something, I need to check with myself how I'm responding to it. Am I coming and attacking and trying to bash people and declaring war on a certain people group or idea? We've done that and it doesn't work. The only thing we have left to do right now is listen. Believe me, when you had something you were fighting for that wasn't popular, you just wanted people to listen to you. I've been on social media. You say one thing and you get crucified for it. You can't be on a certain side of politics right now. You can't be on a certain side of environmental control right now. You can't be on a certain side of the economy and how it should run right now. And if you are, as soon as someone puts an idea out there, they have 50 people commenting saying, you should be burned at the stake. <sighs> it isn't gonna fix anything. You're part of the problem. Change it and watch what changes on the earth. Salty Jesse out.
Oh wow. They have babies. They have tiny little babies. Oh, that's so cool. They might get pissed off here. Babies. There's 